As it often goes, I can't decide if I'm going to part with this awesome Warwick Starbase, but if you're watching this, I probably decided to put it up for sale on Reverb. Either way, I wanted to do a review video of sorts, give a brief overview of the features, and a listen through its sounds in hopes I may help somebody make up their mind about this particular model in the future. I am Clay with Salty Guitars. I've been playing, swapping, selling, smashing, supplicating? Guitars, basses, and all the fun-related trappings for over 30 years. I'm a 20 plus year, 100% positive feedback eBayer, although now I prefer to sell on Reverb. If you aren't familiar with Warwick, they are a German company founded in 1982 and have a pretty serious list of endorsees, no surprise. They have a huge range of models, as well as a huge price range from German models to more affordable East Asian made bases like this one here. From what I've seen, they maintain quality very well throughout the price range. Uh, my basis for saying this is that I've owned a German made Dolphin, as well as I currently own a Corvette double bucker. You, you may be able to see on the wall back there. The nice solid feel and overall build quality is very similar uh, from those two German models to this, this base in my opinion. It's, it's very impressive. It's a semi-hollow uh, with, with the awesome looking uh, F-holes. Also with the very cool price tag compared to the German built counterparts. But let's find out how it compares overall. As far as construction goes, the top, back, and sides of the body are maple laminate and finished with the high polished black you're seeing. Also, the beautiful cream binding on this thing is just immaculate. The set neck is maple and the fretboard is East Indian rosewood. It's so cozy with the inch and a half wide width at the nut. The chrome hardware on black looks amazing. And it is what appears to me after owning two of those German models I described the exact same hardware. If you happen to know the answer to that, uh, please let us know in the comments down below. The angled position of the very smooth tuning machines uh, aside from looking cool, uh, make tuning a little bit more comfortable than the traditional right angle tuners where, you know, you have to reach your hand all the way up and, oh, my wrist! The Starbase features two of Warwick's nicest features, in my opinion, that you see in the German and the, the Chinese-made bases, and that is the just a nut as well as what they refer to as the uh, two-piece 3D bridge, pretty much makes it infinitely adjustable. This beauty weighs in right about nine and a half pounds and is nicely balanced. It's not head heavy or anything like that. It is medium scale and it might be a nice happy in between if you can't decide. The neck feels awesome and again, it's very consistent with the way the German models feel. This star base in the rock base family features passive MEC single coil pickups with standard three-way toggle. It's got a volume and a tone for each pickup. Very versatile tone wise, but of course you be the judge here. Uh, let's, let's play through some sounds. I am playing through a Helix with a Gillian Kruger model uh, 800RB. Nice and grindy there on the, uh, the bridge pickup. Okay, center position. neck. Big and fat. Nice and round. Tone turned all the way down on the, uh, the bridge. Sorry, the neck. I love 
love that. Let's turn the tone up for that. That's about it. So overall here, this Warwick bass is a great option with its versatility of tones and its high level build, in my opinion. I hope this video was helpful to you in some way. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. If you give me a thumbs down, you got to give me the reason why to help me improve these videos. Please give me suggestions for products you'd like to see me review in the future, which could be limited by my available budget but I'll give it a try. Thanks again for watching. I'm Clay with Salty Guitars. Have a good day.